Hello everybody and welcome back to the podcast. We have a bit of a different episode for today. It's going to be a little more debate style. It's going to be flat earth versus not flat earth. I'm on the side of not flat earth. So we got a special moderator here today just to make sure everything's fair and calculated. Welcome in the moderator. How are you doing? Of course, on my side, as usual, uh, let's get in Mike as a not flat earther. Welcome back, Mike. And then, for the first flat earther... I'm doing incredible, thank you, bro. Okay, for the first flat earther, let's welcome flat earther number one. We're going to be calling him Mac. That's uh, his name, by the way. How are you doing today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just so... Real quick, before we get this started, just make sure you're talking into the mic, and then... Everything's good? Sure, yeah. Yeah, just so, real quick, uh, I'm gonna move the mic over to Mike. Um, actually, just, just lean into it and tell everybody uh, why you don't believe the Earth is flat. So now... <laughs> so now it's fine, it's fine. Okay, uh, tell everybody why you believe the Earth is flat. And well, then I'll, I'll go last. So everyone starts out as a round earth guy, right? You've right. taught that in school, right? Well, you get out there, you start going on the internet. Back, you know, I was born in 85, so I'm like 38 years old, right? right? So I remember before and after the internet. Now we got the internet. So you go around, you look at stuff. And so we have, they tell us that we're going a million miles an hour through space, right? We're, or <laughs> we're orbiting the earth going so fast, right? And my position is that I don't feel the movement. I look at the uh, horizon, and I don't see, I see no curve. I've been in planes, I see no curve. Oh, you That's don't see where, the curve? Like a boat I don't going see, over the curve? Th there is, well, what is that? Like, you, when you see, like, a boat going, like, on the ocean, you don't see, like, how it curves? You're well, saying? we'll get to that. So... I think we have the other flat earther. <clears throat> so, like I said, I Wait, see... Just real quick, not to interrupt sure, you, sure. but... Uh, since just to make it fair and everything is gonna be two on two. Yeah, the other sure. guy has been we've been waiting up on him for a little bit I think he's here. So we're gonna go get him But sure so are we gonna restart or what are no, we no, doing? We, we can just keep going just keep introducing yourself and Okay, then. so yeah, that's my position. I don't see I don't feel the curve or the uh, movement and I don't see the curve That's my basic position and what you said earlier is that the, the boats Going over the horizon. Right, well, right. if you take any kind of basic camera and zoom in you can bring it back into the view right yeah so our per we have limited vision like we can't see forever right we're limited so when that boat goes over the curve it appears to disappear hull first but if you take well, a camera zoom in like a nikon p900 zoom it in you can bring it back into view when it goes over the horizon again right you zoom in a little more and you can bring it back into view and you can well, do that i think for the most part yeah. you know a, lo a lot of people who uh, all of the scientists, for the most part, they, they don't really think that the boat is disappearing. So obviously, if you get like a lens that can just be like going, zooming in, of course, you're going to be able to see farther than the human eye. The human eye has its own things. But that doesn't right. mean that it's exactly, you know, there's no curve. You know what I mean? Well, if it keeps, it should theoretically disappear over the curve. Is the it should be here? behind the curve. All right, wait, let me introduce him. All right, sure. Is he here? Is he at the door? All right. Uh, sorry for the lateness. For the second flat to welcome uh, Mr. <laughs> Rabbi. Oh, boy. How you doing, boss? <laughs> Mr. Rabbi. So like I was saying, <laughs> right. So you got to you want to say something to this fella here? Well, it might be a good time to ask, why do you believe the earth is flat? Earth is uh, flat. Because uh, the Torah says so. So you believe the earth is flat mainly for religious reasons? Correct. And you think that that would be like a logical statement that you would say that all of the scientists are wrong because of some holy book, which to be <coughs> fair, I am Jewish myself, but you think that that's like a fair thing to go by, just disregard all of science and history over that? Correct. Okay. Well, go on about what you were saying. I think you have a little bit no more nuance in... <laughs> okay, so you were saying about the ships going over the horizon, right? right? right. 
Well, and we, like I mentioned, you take a camera, you zoom in, you can bring it back into focus. And you then rebutted by saying that that doesn't mean there isn't a curve. Well, if there was a curve and it in fact went over that curve, it would be impossible to bring it back into view because it is literally being obstructed visually. So well, how did the camera bring it back into focus I if think, there is a big old piece I think of there, earth I think way? maybe, I think one of the things that I was just reading about this recently, because yeah. to be honest, I'm not like a huge guy on like flat earth, you know, arguing it. It's not like- That's fair. I, I'm more of like a, just a spaced out guy, just doing different stuff in politics, just understanding <clears> a lot of different stuff. So when I was re researching that specifically, it was actually uh, a scientist, I forget his name, Is that allowed in here? We can do that? Is, is that healthy? It is? Okay. Okay. What's the Torah say about that? Healthy. Nothing? Okay. Healthy. It's healthy. Okay. Right on. <laughs> All right. We're back in it. So what's what's the next question there, Matan? Let's, uh, let's hear it. <sighs> well... Oh, you don't want to stare? Because I can stare, big guy. Listen, I don't want to make issues, but if you continue to smoke on the table, we're going to have to remove you. Is that uh, against the sponsorship? The Dr. Pepper? Well, I don't, I Are mean, you guys a Powerade crew here? Like, I don't think we the... have a sponsorship, but it just, I don't, I don't really understand Does why. Does that you... have aspartame in it? Can I see the ingredients on it? Can I just see the ingredients right quick? Here, let me see. Let me see. Can I, it has aspartame? It's very cancerous. You shouldn't drink that. Oh, you don't like aspartame? Very good. I don't like artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners, totally disgusting. It tastes good. It tastes good, but it's bad for you. You should try Mexican Coke because cane sugar, my man, Calories. and it is natural. Zero calories. But they get you with the artificial sweetener, and that will kill you. So just be careful with that. You think the, arti the artificial sweetener is killing people? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Read about, um, what is it, the Powerade one? There's another one. It's got. It's called uh, sucralose. That one's really shit for you. It uh, splits your DNA. All artificial just, sweeteners are bad for you. Just Google it. Just Google uh, no, it. That's no, not I, a flat Earth thing, but that's just all right, really. But bad. Let's get on to the flat Earth. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to the real thing. Let's get to the real thing. Okay, okay, the real like flat Earth, that. right? Right. <laughs> I think this is a good one to start off with. Sure. Yeah. But do you believe in gravity? You know, a lot of flat Earthers don't. I was watching some flat Earthers debate with people, and okay. from what I understood, they don't really believe in gravity, and Whatever you say, and then I can make my rebuttal. Take that. Do you have to take that off of the table? <laughs> one more, one more hit. One more hit. All right, he's good. All right, my teammate here. I love this guy. Okay, so about gravity, most flat earthers don't believe in gravity. They don't believe it. They don't believe in they the do spinning crap. Whatever. Right? Do you believe in it? No, I don't. Not. I don't. I don't think gravity is anything. I think it's kind of an unfalsifiable thing. So. About gravity, as my teammate over here is really cheering me on. I love this guy. What's your name again? Rabbi Monkey. Rab Rabbi Monkey? Okay, right. Rabbi Monkey. This guy, you're like 30 minutes late and you're smoking. And I'm really feeling your support here. But just cheer, cheer me on, brother. All right. As I was saying, gravity. You want to hear about sorry, gravity? It's just, it's just like such an odd situation. I, I know you think I probably planted him here, but... I'm honest. I've met this guy before. He doesn't. You met him on the street. You paid him twenty dollars. No, 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 because I'm Jewish, so I go to synagogue. All right, all right. Are you also Jewish? You look a bit Jewish. I am not Jewish. Really? No, sir. Are you Canadian? <laughs> no, not even. That's no. where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. I'm saying you're like your heritage. You just um, like. So heritage would be half Filipino, half European, like Northern European. Just like uh... like the UK. English, Scottish, Irish, Welsh. Okay, you need to leave. I, I can't. No more. Let's get him out That's of That's my teammate, though. But this is ridiculous. I saw you going for the vape again. You need to stop with that. <laughs> Rabbi Monkey, it was, it was nice knowing you, bud. It's all right. You can leave, brother. I got it. I'll take it. I'll give you, I'll give you one more opportunity. Just don't vape and, because I don't want to start the fire alarm or anything. Thank you. Thank you for... Got to treat him right. All right. Thank you. Just take it easy. You got to control the impulses. All right. It's going to be all right. We'll get through this. Gravity itself, like, you don't know what it is. Even Neil deGrasse Tyson says, we don't know. Well, I was going to say, is. I actually have that written down here. The Neil deGrasse Tyson. 
No, no, yeah, I had something written uh, about Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, specifically. Yeah, so he says that you we can measure it, but we don't know what it is. So if it, he doesn't know what it is, how can we be so sure that it well, is what they this, say? This it is. is what I was gonna say. I don't have it in the notes, but but wait, wait, wait. Let me just say what well, I just, believe well, just, gravity. Just what I be believe is causing things to rise and fall. Number one physicist. Neil deGrasse, you like him? Number one. Hey, you should be on my side, bro. Come on. That doesn't make any... I You're was supposed to hate that guy. Not, not gravity. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Um, well, what I was going to say is, just from my understanding, I personally don't like Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think it's encephalitis, which is just some sort of like understanding, like <laughs> learning disorder, like inflammation in the brain. So I'm not a really big fan of Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think a lot of flat earthers kind of go to him because he's just like a very easy guy to pick on. He's a little bit of a stupid guy. He's not really, he's not really a good uh, speaker for most people, you know. I'd say even the, like the rabbi would probably be more intelligent than Neil deGrasse. Well, that's Neil fair. Says, uh, flat. No, he does not. Yes. That's <laughs> well. You know, I think he probably does say that. I, I, will, I will side with... Rabbi Monkey here. Let's go with that. Neil deGrasse Tyson is a flat earther confirmed here on the podcast. We have a we have another ally confirmed by Rabbi Monkey. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. All right. So do you want to talk about gravity okay, or we what's need to get going on? Out of here. Oh man! All right. I can't. I can't take this seriously. Comes in all with right. a vape and a Dr Pepper. He's not making any serious arguments. All right. Do you mind uh, just removing him from the... <laughs> okay, listen. I know now it's a two-on-one, but just to make it's it okay, fair... It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. Here, just to make it fair... Neither of these guys are saying anything anyway, so... I was going to say, just to make it fair, we'll have Mike just... You can talk, just make it very limited. Just I, The rabbi probably talked maybe like two times you, and he said like 30 words, you said 15, so you have like 15 words left, and then just cut it out, all right? I'm sorry, that was just very distracting. All right. So Anyways, we're still doing gravity or yeah, what? Yeah, tell me what you think about the gravity. So people say that gravity is a force and that it brings everything down, but they neglect to mention... They neglect to mention... Okay, is he coming back or...? No, I don't believe so. All right. So as, we, as I was saying, helium, the balloon floats. Right. But what about gravity? Well, the balloon is less dense than the medium around it. That's why it floats. Then you have a rock, which is dense, and so it falls to the ground. And if you put it in water, it will then sink, right? Right. But then there are bubbles. The bubbles rise to the surface of the water. But what about gravity? I think the, the main like, uh, rebuttal to that would be like when I was in the first grade, they, they told us it's like the solid, the liquid, and the gas, right? Yeah. So like a rock is uh, more of like a solid than like a bubble, it's right? It's dense. Right, it's dense. dense. So it's going to go sinking. Yes. But I think the main thing with the gravity is probably just, you know, a lot of what the scientists say is that, you know, when... Uh, That's an appeal to authority, by the way. There's, well, not really. You're, you're you know, appealing I, to authority I, I think, when you say I think all saying the a, I think saying appeal to authority is a bit of like a cop-out, you know, because it's just taking away all of the education that those guys have, you know what I mean? Yeah, but some education no is more problem. valuable than others, and if we're all indoctrinated in believing the same thing, well, I would, I would, then... I think that's a good place, to, even before we really dive deeper into the flat Because they're trying to teach people that boys can be girls, girls can be boys. See, we that, all know that's, that's not a, true. That's a different thing. I don't, really different agree, thing but, I don't agree with that. But there are experts that believe in it, so should we believe the experts? Well, I think, to be honest, obviously not, right? Yeah. But I think they're not really... I think it's kind of taken out of context. I think you'd be a bit hard pressed to find a scientist saying that somebody can change their sex. The gender thing, you know, you have some like far far left liberals, fuck them, my opinion. But they, but what they're saying is that gender is like a social construct. If you said uh, gravity was a social construct, maybe you'd have a, a different scientist coming up with something else. But it would make sense for like an indoctrinated, you know, uh, like scientist who's been raised with very far left liberal parents to uh, be not so opposed that somebody can change their gender, but not their sex, right? And I think that brings up the gravity thing. I think saying that it's an, an appeal to authority is not really the best place to start off because... But can we get back, though, here real quick? Can we get back to the actual gravity well, portion? I, I, I just so brought, so we, we, I brought up the thing. I'm just That was just the point that many people will follow a lot of the experts, and right. they will say, okay, yeah, now we have a million genders. Let's not go off on that. Yeah, yeah. Let's we go back to, talk to gravity. About the it's a and so, I agree with so you. So gravity, that. right? 
it supposedly they, keeps the entire Earth together well, as we fly through space a million miles to you know an hour, right? It, you know, we're spinning all around. You see the graphics; it's like insane the way it looks. I think it looks well, insane. Did, well, so, well, that's, listen, that's, I'm just I'm just gonna read the notes you have just from what I was. Yeah, go ahead, go for it. But scientist Greg, he said the gravity pulls all the way down, but the sunshine pulls it back up. That's why at night there can be something floating, but during the daytime, the gravity sets it all back down to Earth and everything will be normal. Scientist Greg says that. I don't, I don't know his last name. I just wrote Greg because I didn't want to take up too much space. It's a bit of a small notepad. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about that. I don't want to argue with that point. I think that's what I mean. Point, you know, it, if we just discount all the scientists for all you I, know, I, I could will be say making this. that up. Let's not discount all the scientists, right. okay? Let's not get on that. Let's not get stuck on that point. We're talking about gravity, and you bring up that. Right. But that but the reason I said that it's what, an appeal to authority is right. because you're not really making an argument against my case. The well, case I'm making— I can cite a higher— Listen, neither me or you have had, you know— uh, Well, I'm, actually, I could be wrong with you, but if you went to college— yeah, I'm a graduate. Uh, oh, okay. My yeah, apologies. college but, graduate. Yeah, oh, no, I don't want to talk about where I graduated. No, no, no. Nothing like that. But I did. All good. I, I, I am a to pry into college that, graduate. Yeah, you're a college graduate. Obviously, I'm not. I'm 16. But I think yeah. these people with you know not just the education from college, similar to you, but they spent their whole lives. Forget somebody like Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's a bit of a different guy. Yeah, he's he a has, TV scientist. He's like encephalitis. Say. His brain he's is a, He's a TV scientist. Yeah, he's I an actor. He's an actor. I don't Hollywood like him actor. Yeah. But you know, just the average scientist. Don't you think it would be a little bit difficult for, you know, all of everybody in NASA? Just before we go too deep into the flatters, we have to kind of... So you're you going to say that oh, everyone is in on it? You're well, going to say was, that everyone's in on it? Not just that, I was going to go a little bit deeper than okay, I think all right, a lot of people okay, would, but, all right. you know, not just everybody in on it, just everybody who's ever been part of, you know, NASA or, you know, the U.S. government, but you'd also... Can I bring up... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I'm bring somebody up after you finish, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You, you'd also have to go into a... Every civilization, basically, for the you know the 21st and the late 20th century, you have to say that every one of those guys who have been able to go, you know, basically every first world and a lot of second world civilizations, they're all in on this giant thing. And you know what I also have here, if I can just pull it up. Sure. But civilizations prior to Is the 21st century, there was many civilizations. Well, thought not the all Earth of them flat. have access. I was just gonna say. Yeah. Well, you know, that's because the, you know, but they trusted what they saw and they had mathematical calculations. Well, and all the issue with that, that is, I was going to say, a lot of the, you know, the flat earthers, what they're depending on is just disregarding all the scientists. But I think that's kind of not true. I was just not looking, disregarding science. Well, just what I'm saying. No, not, it, I think yeah. a lot of the problems with that is if you look at like NASA, some of the conspiracies is that they're wrongly educated. And the main one is that they're Jewish. And hey, wh whether I'm not you, pointing no fingers at no, 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 no nobody. No. I was going to say, I don't know whether you believe that, but just to bring that up. If we just look at some of them, you have Adam Abrams, you have Daniel Schnitzel, you have Jacob Lieberman, you have Ethan Bernstein, mm -hmm. Ariel Bernstein, Jonathan Katz. These people don't sound Jewish. These aren't Jewish people. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they would expect them to be Jewish and then be able to do the whole Jewish conspiracy. Whether hey, or not, I, I, I just, don't know anything about let's that. Let's just say you don't believe I, that. I got nothing on that. I'm just here to what talk about your, the physics would, of it. That's all. All right, the physics. How would you discount... Uh, you know, well, I'm uh, not discounting. I'm not discounting you, the science. No, no. How would I, you I discount scientist Greg saying that the sunshine is what keeps everything down? The sunshine is what keeps everything That's down. That's what he says. So, what's that? Explain to me what that. What, what right. does that mean? Yeah. yeah so it's, I it can keeps go deeper everything into this down. Because when, when I talk about up, relative, right. relative density, right. density, the rock is dense, so it falls to the ground. Well, the helium is less dense. The balloon is less dense, so it rises. So there's an explanation of the density is the explanation. Right. The sun keeping things down is not an ex explanation. There's no, well, no, no. explanation It, it is, because essentially the way it works is, I, I guess maybe you disagree with this, but you would agree that the sun is a couple million miles away, or you think it's... No, you, know, you can do trigonometry with basic tools and prove that it's like a, only like a few miles, like 120 miles away or something right, like that. Right, and then yeah. we would all be dead. That's if you think the or this sun is well, some crazy well, star. Thing, I, I, I don't think it's that. I think the misconception that a lot of I don't of think people, it's that at all, really. I think the misconception is that most people think, and for some reason, you know, a lot of flat earthers, I would imagine yourself, you don't think the moon landing was real, correct? You probably no, no. Okay, so you think it was fake. <laughs> but I got COVID. Anyways, we'll okay, well, anyways, so you don't believe the moon landing is real, and stats say that over 98% of other flat earthers don't believe it's real. 
Yeah. And that's a whole different discussion. We can go into that I, later. I, I don't know the technicals on that, so I don't want to talk about it. I can, I can cite a few things, but, it, you know, it's... No, if you no, want I'll, to talk about it, we can talk about I, it, yeah. We can talk about it in a second, but the reason I'm bringing that up is a lot of people get confused with that because the moon is the closest one to us, and then they think that we haven't been to Mars, or we haven't been to Jupiter, we haven't been close enough to the sun, but that's not true. We have been close enough to the sun to actually see the test. And, you know, back in, you know, the 1980s, we actually had somebody only 100,000 miles away from the sun. Once he got to the 100,000 mile threshold, what happened is all of the camera, all of the equipment, the, the spaceship, everything, it got burned down. However, he traveled like, 90 some nine, uh, was it 90, mi- hun- 900 million miles? How many miles is it? 90 I, million? I, I don't, he went 90 I don't million want to bring miles? out the phone for this. It's more of like just. Yeah, no, but he, he went like 90 million miles. I think How long like, did it take him to do that? Let's say it was like 90 million. Was he, he went, How fast did those ha- aircraft, those uh, spacecraft have to go? To go 90 million miles. I personally don't miles. know the exact speed. Think about how far. But it was like a 10-year journey. It was, it was, was it a, 10 years? Was it? Yes. And this guy went all the way to the sun? Yes. All right. What is the no, name no, of that? I was there. What's the name of Mike, that? come on. No, what don't, is, don't joke with this guy. He's serious. It, no, well, I'm trying to be serious. I try to go with the joke here. Um, well, I'm not joking. No, that's cool. Uh, with Rabbi Monk over here, really. Well, that's why uh, we got him out. Real, real fucking I champ. Gonna, I didn't know he was going to do I that. I miss so. him already. Rabbi Monk. Is it Monkey or is it Monk? I think it was Monk A. Monk A? Monk Gay? Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe he might be. Don't say the G word. Don't he, say he it. He might be gay. As I was saying, what were we on? The, the, the fucking well, spacecraft going 90 million miles? Well, well that's, well, that's actually what happened. I can, I can pull up the guy's name here, actually, to be specific. But it was actually. Ariel Schnitzel, he actually went very, very... Ariel Schnitzel, I'll have to look that up later. Let's just, I mean, I guess it, well, I'll just have to take your word for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I'll well, just have to take it. I don't want to... They did get very close, and I, I honestly, I, I lost track a little bit. But yeah, they got very close, and it was a 10-year journey. Once they hit the 100,000-mile threshold, everything burned up. But since it was a, like a live projection, just 10 minutes delay, you know the, you know how it's like an 8 minutes uh, speed of light from the sun? They say, well, let's just assume that they're not lying about the sun, just for one second. Let's just assume it's They true, say it's yeah. eight, eight minutes, I think, the light will reach us from the sun, correct? Sure, something like that, yeah. So it was 10 minutes from the other guy because the technology just wasn't good enough because it was the live stream. It wasn't like he was showing us light. The light, obviously, could get here sooner. Sure, yeah. But essentially, the way it works is, yeah, he did get within the 100,000-mile 100 ta- 100, threshold, mm-hmm. and then everything got burned up. And obviously, you can say that I'm lying or I'm making yeah, this up. It's, I'll just assume it's but, true. But yeah, yeah, I'll assume what you say is true for the most part. And yeah, I'll, we I'll can just, just ass- take my word. Just agree. Let's just agree or it's going to just turn into us calling each other liars. Sure, yeah, we don't want to do that. Yeah, because it's just not going to be productive. No, it's not. But So what he did get that close, and you can claim that that was some sort of NASA lie, yeah. but that wasn't even with the Americans. That was, that was with the Mongolians. The Mongolians, okay. So okay, I have a hard time believing that the Mongolians, why would the Mongolians lie about that to please NASA? There, w- there was no NATO, there was no reason for them to even do that in the first place. What year did this happen? I believe it was in 1980s, 1986. And it was, um, I guess I shouldn't Google it. That wouldn't be fair. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's cool. We'll just take it as the truth. Well, if the reason saying. I brought that up in the yeah, first place. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, elaborate. The reason I brought that up in the first place is a lot of people, a lot of flat earthers don't believe the sun is as far as it is, but... You know, this was a... Oh, know, wait, do you know you, the Truman Show? Yeah, I know the Truman Show. It I know similar, that people think it's a flat earth uh, clue or some crap. No, no, okay. I, I don't even know about that. Conspiracy. Yeah, because it's like a dome and there's whatever. I, I actually yeah. have no idea. I was just bringing up the Truman Show because that's how uh, Ariel was essentially being broadcasted. It was 24-7, obviously, you know, when he went to the bathroom or anything, but it was 24-7 just so everybody could have a good look. It wasn't a public live stream, but it got released later. Everybody can go find the footage now, but as it was going, it was just... For really the biggest technologies, I think it started just with the Mongolians as they started out. But once they started needing more help and more scientists on the case, they got involved with NASA, N- NASA I believe, and All probably right. some other organizations. So, yeah, I mean, if we want to talk about, let's go back to the conspiracy about NASA and everything. Because, you know... I'm, I'm pretty sure that all the astronauts were Freemasons, so there's that conspiracy. Go into that. Well, what do you think is a Freemason? Just go into that. Uh, they, these guys, they they have control of things and they have a lot of power. But but that's if you that's Lord one. They are all confirmed to be uh, Freemasons. So, but that's but that's the extent of what I know about that. I, not everybody in NASA's. 
So well, as far as like the conspiracy and everybody being in on it, they could be doing things. Well, they, don't, the, they could be doing things with a computer and not even know what the fuck they're doing. Like they could put it put in the calculations and think that things are happening, but things could really not be happening. So well, but that footage, sounds crazy. There's live footage. But, yeah, there's live footage, but the live footage could be bullshit. No, they could, they, they, you they, can it's watch, called their psyops. It's, it's, there's like fucking. Well, the, the, you're talking about like uh, space moon landing footage. There's all kinds of crap about the space the moon landing. That's like well, go, that's like pretty fucking phony. Go, like the lighting. The moon this, there's this huge. There's this huge uh, conspiracy that the moon landing was faking. A lot of the, the a lot of the the explanation. I'm sure you would believe in one of your points. I think you just heard. I heard you outside talking to my producer about it. To be honest, when I had to check something on my phone, you said, "Why haven't we gone back?" Right? Yes. Why haven't we gone back? So. I think the real and only explanation for that right. is Let me that turn, I need to make sure this is off. My kid has uh, got a monitor on. All right. So she's lean back. You're getting in front of the camera. Just well, anyways, all good. But I think that that's probably the reason why most people think the moon landing was fake. We have gone back not once, not twice, not a thousand. They say times. a few times. Yeah. You no, know, we've gone back thousands of times. Not just NASA, but it's not like you know the Indians. I believe were there. About okay. a so year ago, NASA came out There's recently and said NASA. that they said that NASA said that they destroyed the technology and we can't get we cannot go back so, to the moon. NASA themselves. So I have a question for you. Confirmed that they so cannot go back to the moon. You believe NASA when it fulfills your point, but when I mention NASA about something else, you're going to tell me NASA is Freemasons. So why, they, does it only work, why does it only work when it's pro on the flat Earth side? But I feel they, like that's a little bit hypocritical, right? Maybe, but the point is, they said it themselves well, that they cannot. We cannot go back. They I'm, said themselves we cannot go back. That's what they said. They said we destroyed the technology. We cannot go back. It's a painful process to rebuild this technology. Yeah, here's the problem. And they can't go. I back. never claim NASA went back. I'm claiming that other people have. You know, NASA. It's not even the biggest organization in the United States. I think SpaceX. Well, it's the biggest it. space exploration uh, organization in the world, isn't it? Uh, not anymore, Pretty from what I understand. Well, either way, I mean, if they can't go back, I mean, I guess like how you said India went, but I mean, yeah, Indians have an entire camp up there. They have like a. There's not people like living there twenty four seven. You mean like a colony? They have a colony. Um, how did they get through the Van Allen radiation belt? What, what do you mean colony? Well, colony. They you build a sustainable housing where you can live for long periods of time. I love this guy. He's great. Um, yeah. Mike? So they are living up there or are they not living up there? What's going on? So they're on? not living up there 24 seven cause they haven't got, I, from what I understand, they haven't got the technology to fully be up there. They have to come back down every once in a while. Just cause well, they can bring up the, like the air containers and all that and all the space things just up and down. But from what I understand, they can't be up there for more than six months at a time. So they keep going up. It's not like they're, they're having kids up there. It's just like a probably like 30, 40 year olds living up there, coming back down, going back up. And from the main thing I understand, you know, is these people, they're up there for a long amount of time. NASA doesn't want to go back there because they're on to, you know, bigger and better things. They're right now trying to reach the sun by 2028. And SpaceX. Reach the sun by 2028. That's the goal. How is that going to work out? Well, they already got 100,000 miles within, and that was in the 80s. And they haven't attempted it since, but they haven't said they destroyed the technology on the sun expedition. So from what they actually said, quote, So what, how are they going to survive on the sun? What's What kind of technology are they going to use to uh, survive what's supposedly a uh, inferno? Listen, I is he dead? You, is he? I appreciate if you didn't snore as loud, but from what I understand is they haven't uh, came out and said exactly the technology. They probably haven't finished producing it yet, but uh, a couple of guys from NASA who used to work there have come out and said that it's some sort of like a force field a force from all of the field. heat. Because if you can just have all of that taking all of the heat, you know, you, you might be fine. And I don't think they're trying to set up a colony there or anything, but they just want to get really close, get some up close pictures. I thought they already had up close pictures of the sun. Well, not like... Uh, Supposedly. Like, well, not like from me right here to right here. Well, of course not. You'd be dead. Well, exactly. I'm saying so you that's why your, they're trying to your get... force field technology? Is, is that really a thing? I think what that's... What do you think about that, Mike? Tell me about force field technology. It's real. Is it real? Do you believe it's in It's like it, Iron Man shit? I mean, listen, personally... Because that sounds more ridiculous to me than... I, I, uh, I guess it's probably Earth like does. Iron Man. It's, uh, I mean... I don't really watch Marvel movies. Does he have like a force field? I mean, that's what you said. You said they're going to use a force field. No, I'm field. saying NASA will, but does Iron Man? Uh, yeah, I think he has some kind of stuff like that. Well, I'm anyway, just saying that as just a, no, no, as I'm, an example. I understand what you're saying, but the only reason I'm really 
bringing this up is I think there's some sort of misconception that the technology is outdated. If they wanted to go back to the moon, you know, the lead guy, Mr. Katz, uh, one of the head guys of NASA, personally said, he said they could recreate that technology within a year or two's time. It's one of the easiest things possible. It's just not going to well, be But if, watch if you have a uh, rabbi... Well, he left. So Rabbi guy him. sabotaging me and How saying, fall, well, I mean, we he, was, he was supposed to, like, to be my partner and then he wasn't my but Mike partner. Isn't, I, just ma I made it so Mike doesn't really talk either. Well, that's fine. It's basically I mean, just me and you having well, a Well, let's just say, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Rabbi Monk, he's back. He's back. My man! Back. He's back. <sighs> Good times. Well, you called for him. I suppose I did. Either way. It doesn't really matter. I don't think All right, so much. we we, Anyways, we established that those things may are probably not true. Well, the, because you could not find the source for me they, and they give, you true. cannot give me the name for that person. So well, we're just going to assume it. those things are you I forgot like it, but you have notes. Well, like 100 pages. 100 pages. All I see is 10 pages of notes. Look, I'm going to skip Show me it. all all the well, no, no, of course, all the way at the back, it's not going to be. I'm okay, just sure. To all read right. through all of this is going to be All right, that's okay. That's okay. Anyways, let's just assume just for the sake of time that it's fake even though it's obviously not now let's move back to the indian colonies on the moon those people aren't there 24 i mean i googled it i didn't see anything about colonies on the moon they're well, there for 24 not. hours a day it just says it's a moon landing nothing about colonies why, why are you shaking you don't believe in that either no thank you thank you oh wow a cute kitty wow so uh <laughs> So yeah, I mean uh, that's what I believe. I don't know. Leviticus. So we can hey, we can bring up the the scripture if you want. You. Do you want to bring up the scripture? Please don't let him come back in. It's getting ridiculous. Oh, Rabbi Monk, man. We'll see you in about fifteen minutes. So, yeah, um, well, I don't believe in satellites either. I think they're yeah, fake. That's yeah, what I was going to ask. They're totally fake. Did you fake. use the satellites? Uh, did you use GPS to get here? It's not GPS like you think it is. So I'm asking, did you use because GPS to get here? Because it's not global positioning. They, it's all ground-based. So, so how do you think, like, location works like you getting here? My phone. And, and they use, and and they like, use like stratospheric, they use stratospheric, like, planes to take pictures of the Earth. Google Earth is not even by satellite. It's by aerial photography. Right, so, just like, a guy the, in the air? No, it's a guy in a plane taking pictures of the Earth. And that would just be There satellites. is... What's that? Uh, like, uh, what are you... Like, I'm saying that you don't even need satellites but for most things. Like, most of the things that we claim you, that satellites that do... Well, I'm saying that most of the things that satellites do, we, can, we have stratospheric aircraft that do those very same things. That doesn't disprove it, though. Well, it doesn't. Well, satellites. You Google pictures of satellites from space. It's just CGI. There's no real pictures of satellites from space. So here's the thing I was gonna bring up. Uh, this is a bit of a separate topic, but it mm -hmm. kind of leans into the same thing. And I, I, sure. I don't want to stay on the same topic. So you see how I keep. Yeah, going? let's keep going. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. want to go through a lot of them because I don't want to make this like ten hours. So, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would. I got all night though. You know. No, I have a long time too. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I know you don't have all night. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, I can go, go ahead. for hours. Just we're yeah, gonna go ahead. It down. Go ahead. Yeah. But I would assume that you probably believe that the photos of the Earth are not real. Well, the and NASA themselves admit they're not real. Tell, explain to explain this. Think? So the blue marble that you all see is not real. I agree. It is a patchwork. It is a composite. It is a it is a combination of several photos. That's all it is. They combine them together. They Photoshop it. Guy even says it on YouTube. You can Google it. The guy says it looks fake. You know, it, but that's what makes it so real or some shit. So yeah, it's all a composite. So how? There's no proof that that's 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 not a picture of Earth from space. It's yeah. So not. here's the thing. This is what I was yeah. gonna bring up. Yeah. So I agree. The blue marble photo, the like the most famous one, I think is the one that everybody finds. Sort of <clears> schools. <throat> it's not exactly a fake photo. It's just yeah. not like a live photo. It's more of like a, it's like a diagram. It's like a model. So going off of that, there are actually real photos. It's just not that one. But since that one's the most popular one, because it's why been, don't they show off the real photos? Because though? they're not going to be as clear. They're not going. They die, They take the real photos and then they make the blue marble. If you go to a photo like that, the Indians can take from the uh, the colonies. Then you'll find real photos. You can look in the, the colonies that were shown to not be there. But anyway, so continue. Sorry. No, but uh, yeah. they can bring like devices. They can take a picture. It's not going to come out very good. But there's a reason why a lot of astronauts, when they go to space, mm -hmm. they have a, I forget what it's called, but it's like a disassociation. They see the whole world, they see the global, they can see like different parts of it. And 
you know, they disassociate, they start having problems when they come back. And that was actually proven. Let me go to the guy's name, Daniel Larson. What he said is that when he came down after, uh, he had that same disassociation, but after a while, it started to go away. What does the disassociation do again? I mean, I'm sure this is something you would agree on. It's they see the whole world and they start to, they start to misunderstand, not misunderstand, but uh, I'm trying to think of like a way to put it in the word. It's like you look down on where you live, like everything, mm -hmm. and it starts to not feel as real. You know what I mean? I see. Not that it's not real. It's just like it's like larger than life. Yeah, larger than like life. That. Exactly. I was trying to think of something like yeah. that. And yeah. So after Daniel Larson was done there, he came back down. He had that same problem, mm -hmm. and they actually put him into therapy with Joshua Block. After okay. he was done, he became an astronaut again. He went back up there, no problems. Right, And right. I think the reason yeah. he had that is he never, over, he was an American guy, he's for NASA. Mm -hmm. And just for a second, let's not say the whole NASA is bullshit again. Well, you can, we can go into that Whatever. again Whatever, you just let's continue, just, Put, continue the story, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he went back, he never got to the colonies on India. This is like back in the 2000s. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was just there and um, he <laughs> took photos with the, with the phone. Because I believe it was one of the early iPhones. 2010, you said? No, maybe not a phone. Maybe it was like a camera. Because back in 2010, maybe I mean, it it's possible it did. Maybe it was like the first they, iPhone. You'd know. think that with all the people going into space, there'd be more pictures of the Earth from space. No Google, no Google. I think he was looking something up on Google. That's If he's Google, I get to Google. I get one Google if he I Googled. Shut him down. He got one Google. Okay, well, it's one to one. It's even. Yeah, it's, you did a yeah, It's a one. Negative and a positive makes zero. All right, we're good. Um, yeah, what, what are you saying? Um, yeah, I was just saying that after Daniel Larson was done up there and then he got the therapy, he went back. He didn't have the larger than life feeling and the, he took a photo. I, I, I take it back. I don't believe it was a photo. I believe it was a camera. And he took a photo. And you can find that photo. But don't you today. think there would be more photos of the Earth there are, from space? But there's thousands of them. There's thousands of pit Tell yes. like smartphone photos. None of them photos. are going to look as good as the smartphone photos. I mean, if you are, if you have a pretty good view of it, you should be able to take a picture. Right, I mean, but it's you think there's, smart, there's like not really any sense. technology that's going to go as big as the Earth, right? Yeah, but if you're going far enough away, you could do it. I mean, if you go to the moon it's not possible. and back, you could do it. Not possible. Do you believe the moon is fake? Do I think it's, it will, if, if we're going by your model and they, f they can, if they have the ISS and all this stuff, there's plenty of pictures from the ISS of the Earth. Right, that may or may not be real, whatever. But why don't they? Why aren't there pictures from the ISS on smartphone? Are we googling now? What's going on? I'm just giving it to the moderator. So you don't know. Thank you, moderator. He's really impartial here. Really impartial. Okay, the pocket is fine. Just all right, Mike. Just want to make sure no Google. Mike, Everything's fair. Good job, Mike. Stand up for yourself. Um, so, yeah, we're talking about the, you know, um, it's my back, word versus back. yours. Um, I don't think space is real anyways, so. You don't think space is real? Yeah, because like I said, satellites are nothing. They're not real. They're not that, real. that was going to bring me up to my next They're question. I was going to say, what, what, what exactly is your explanation of why the sun is round, the moon is round, every other planet is round? Well, just because that is round it's circular doesn't mean we are circular it's like but you believe uh, they are also spherical though i don't think like, it's spherical i think that they're it's possible that they're well if you look through a telescope or a high zoom cam uh, zoom camera they don't look like anything that what nasa shows they look like little garbly watery prism like whatever it doesn't look like what they say it looks like it looks like it's water up there in fact so when we look at it, us peons who don't have billions of dollars worth of technology, okay. we can't confirm they're telling the truth. They so could think, Photoshop the pictures. Think, so they could you, Photoshop the pictures. What about when you look into the sky? Into the sky and at, at what? At the sun. You see it's a ball. Yeah, but the sun is the same size as the moon in the flat earth model. Oh, but you believe the sun is the same size as the yeah, moon? Yeah, and it's only a few, you know, 125 miles up or something like that. 25. 30 miles. Yeah, it's not very far away. And, and it's not killing us, no. How's it not killing us? Because it's not what they say it is. So, like, hypothetically, according to you, you could just go to the sun right now, probably. I can't that. go to the sun. I don't have a billion dollars no, of technology. Saying, let's say you did. If I did, maybe I could. And it wouldn't kill you? I don't know. I don't know because exactly. I don't claim to know everything, but well, you can use basic trigonometry to calculate the distance from the Earth to the sun in the flat Earth model, and it's not 
a mil- 90 million miles away. Well, this is what I was going to bring up. You say, like, us peons, we don't have the billions of dollars. We don't have a billion. I yeah. don't know if you know one of the biggest uh, uh, flat earthers, not a, no, no longer with us. You know Felix Schellberg? No, Felix Schellberg is a Red Bull guy, and he is not a flat earther. No, wait, you talk about Felix Sh- Schellberg? Are you talking about PewDiePie? Felix Schellberg is PewDiePie. No, He's not a flat earther. You just said Felix Schellberg. Yeah, Felix Schellberg. He is, that's PewDiePie. Who's that? Is he a YouTuber? He's a, uh, whatever. Okay. So what are you going to say? PewDiePie the flat earther. What are you going to say? What's the story? I mean, I, is, 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 is he a big Felix YouTuber? Felix Schellberg. So you're just making up words. No, I, so I can't. Re- I can't take I you seriously. You, so it's true. You, that's that's you know that's uh it's called circular logic. What so is like logic? just because my book says it's true, no, it's no, no, true. No, no, I'm just saying. You said I'm just making stuff up. I'm just. Well, yeah, but you make it up and you write it on the paper. Okay, so you're assuming. So you're saying Felix Shelberg is a flat earther. Maybe we're talking about a different. Are guy. Are we talking here. about a different guy? Okay, I think. That I don't even know I'm, what you're talking about. To be completely honest. You don't know who PewDiePie is. Okay. Who, All right. Who is he? Who is the one you're talking about? The one I'm talking about. He's a YouTuber. He's like the biggest YouTuber, at least like he was the biggest YouTuber. But Felix Shelberg, yeah, that's the. What does he do? He does like. Uh, <clears throat> he does game. <clears throat> he's a gamer him? guy. He's a gamer. Yeah. He's a gamer. Yeah, he's a gamer guy. He's, okay. he's been there forever, you know. Well, All right. So what's the story? What's anyway, I guess Felix we're talking Shelberg? about different people. Sure, maybe. Well, I don't. Well, it is a different person. Just for sure. what I'm gonna. Yeah. Read. Go ahead. Top flower to Felix Shelberg. He actually was the number one flat earther in 2008. And essentially okay. what ended up happening is he raised enough money to actually buy sort of like a, not like the, the best one, but something that could just get him into space. Like, you know, like a hot air balloon that can get you really uh, high up. Yeah, you went to like the stratosphere or something like that? Um, I forget, what, feet I forget which one specifically, but he went up very, very high. How, like he, how many feet? Um, I don't know the number, to be completely honest. I don't want to. Like, like try to guess and then it'd be wrong but sure he went up to the point where he could see that it wasn't like a like uh like a flatness it wasn't a circular it was like could you take pictures yeah that yeah. So wasn't that, on a fisheye lens that no, no. distort the curvature so that's, what, that's exactly what happened and then there's a conspiracy i'll go over after with him he went up there he mm-hmm. realized that he was wrong and mm-hmm. at this point he was live streaming mm-hmm. uh well actually no i don't think it was live streaming it was live streaming <clears throat> to his home which was i believe automatically Hosted. I don't. I don't remember. I, I find it hard to believe you don't know who PewDiePie is. I the told, fact that you're saying well, that, actually, means, it, I just think you're full of shit at this point. Well, actually, if you, say, you I, don't know who PewDiePie is. I actually is. have a good one to prove. Whoever this guy, I don't know who he is. We were off the podcast. You asked me if I knew Sneeko. I said I know Sneeko because I know, know Sneeko, him. Yeah. But I said I don't really watch any like social. media. I mean, if you're stuff. on YouTube and you have six hundred fifty thousand subscribers, well, like you say like you I'm, do, it's not like I'm posting the videos. But you, every every YouTuber knows who. PewDiePie is. You know who PewDiePie is? Crazy guy. Yeah, he knows. He I knows bet who. Vecna even knows who PewDiePie is. Do you know who PewDiePie is, producer? Oh, yeah, okay. So now we're full of shit now. We're all full of shit. Hey, no, Rabbi no, no. Monk, do you know PewDiePie? Do you know PewDiePie? No. Man, did I just step into an alternate universe? I think I did. Or it's all it's all part of the Flat Earth conspiracy. Anyways, okay, well, so anyways, what are you saying? Continue. Well, okay. I don't want to... There's no way I could prove to you I'm not lying. You know what I mean? Well, let's just go off it. He, got, he, he went up very high. I don't know okay. the exact mileage. He realized he was wrong. The footage was posted. He became, like, the biggest clown of the week, and he okay. ended up committing suicide. So very, there, very are, there are weather balloons that go up. He didn't use a weather balloon. Well, there are weather balloons that have gone up 100,000 feet, well above the stratosphere, didn't see the curve. The Red Bull guy jumped from hundreds of thousands of miles in the air. Oh, the guy who did the, the yeah, jump. yeah. That was proven to be fisheye lens, so that okay. was flat. Okay, this is a good one. This is more just like almost like a rhetorical one. So I apologize. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how can the Earth be flat if the scientists say mm-hmm. if it was, we'd be flat as a pancake, according to George Armstrong, brother of Armstrong. <laughs> well, I mean. Uh, I don't believe in gravity, so that's why I think that's full. That's bull crap. So. And you just think he was making it up? Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, relative density, like I said. What, what do you believe is a relative density? Like I told you, certain things have a density that causes them to either go to the ground or rise into the air. But that's I why balloons can go into well, the air. Well, that's why I explained, you know, the sun, you know, pulls it up. And then <clears> when there's no sun, it goes back down. 
No, I don't think that's how it works. If we're talking I'm about... I'm not a liar. I'm not lying. This if, is, if we're this talking about... It is a lie. Liar. My man... Put it there, brother. My man, he's telling it like it is. I'm, I'm, what do you think, Vecna? Well, he's the moderator, so I don't think he wants to comment. Yeah. <laughs> Does he have psychic powers? Is he like, is he brainwashing me right now? Is he turning me to a round earther? What is it? You, what is it? He said his name was Vecna. <laughs> You've seen Stranger Things. What's that? He's the main villain. He looks like Vecna. Like the TV show? Yeah, on, the, on Netflix. He looks like Vecna. Look at, him, look at him. He's doing, look at him. He's, he's dreamwalking right now. Fucking dreamwalking right now. Look at this shit. He's dreamwalking. Look at his eyes. He's the, you can't even see his pupils. Yeah, he's opening his eyes. You can't see his pupils. He's possessed by round earth. Even, but yeah, the round earth demons, right? Crazy people. Yeah, Vecna, he's got the psionic powers, dude. Don't fuck with this guy. He's strong. No, don't do that. Oh, you done pissed him off. He's going to kill us all now. We're dead. We're all going to die now. Yeah. It's over. Can you show me a picture of this guy you're talking about? Well, I can't Google. Where, where, why, don't you, why don't you Google? You I'll Google. Do, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, because you Googled now, I get to get one Google. Thanks. That's the agreement. That's the agreement. There is no moon. Oh, the moon is fake, Rabbi. No, it's fake. It's just um, not what they say projection. it is. Yes, exactly. It's a projection. Oh, you believe that too? I think that's probably more uh, likely than what they say. So how were they, like the Truman Show projection? Yeah, something like that. Oh, Possibly. Oh, the Truman Show is the real life. That's right. It's a clue. To the real. Do you actually you believe that the one you mentioned earlier? Documentary. That it is a projection. I'm saying you believe it's a clue. The Truman Show is like a clue. I mean, no. it, that's what some people that are more unhinged than me say. That more that are more you, unhinged. So you're, admi you're admitting you guys are a little bit crazy. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm a little crazy, but everybody's a little crazy. Look at this guy; he's crazy, right? This guy's a little crazy. Crazy, round, crazy. Round. If you're cra if you're round earth, you're even crazier. Vec Vecna is just he's got a great jawline though. Look at that. Good yeah, angle on it. Man, good man, angle on that yeah, drawing. Nice chin. The double chin. Very nice. Good aesthetics there, this guy. Very good <laughs> aesthetics. So projection. Projection could be. Could be like a godlike projection. Who and knows? In the Truman Show, what was it? I could actually did It was a projection, yeah. They, they, Go watch. I it's a pretty good movie. I mean, I, like no, if you no, watch, I, I watched it, but oh, a, you see a it, long okay. time ago. What did they do? They put like a fake moon? Or just like actually just like I a, think it was a projection that that illuminated... Yeah, it's a fake sky, whatever. So the sky was not real. Some flat earthers think that there are clues out there. That why would they do that? Why would they do that? Because like it's their idea of a joke, like telling us the truth in plain sight. It's kind of like a fun little thing. It's, it's to, more fun than anything. I, I don't believe it, but it's no, it's a fun I little thing. I probably should thing. ask this earlier. It's probably one of the first ones I should ask. But do you think that everybody is lying? The UK, <laughs> Mongolians, <laughs> Americans. Oh, here's Indians, an in, let me give you an interesting fact. Okay, Canada, so in, in Mexico, flat Earth, in the flat Earth Abrams, theory. There's the ice wall. You've heard of this? You've looked up on it. Now, just, just hang on. There's the ice wall. We can't pass the ice wall. Now, here's an interesting fact. You believe about, in it? There's an inter this is a circumstantial thing. Nobody owns Antarctica. An Antarctica. No one owns it. Not even, even the United States. The there's a story behind it. I would love there. to tell the story. Tell Let the me story. tell the story. Admiral Byrd. Oh, yes. Do you know Admiral Byrd? You hear about? Yes. Crazy, he, he, crazy He went guy. to the South Pole. Oh, he went, yeah, the, he went to the South Pole. No, no, Pol. real guy, really crazy. Let's tell the story. Admiral Byrd Admiral in the 1940s went to, he went to the South Pole. Okay. He went past the ice wall or whatever it is they say. And he said, well, just really and he quick, said, not, now not hang on, let me finish my thought because I don't want to get distracted. This is an important thought. Why are you doing that? So the point is this. He said that there are fertile lands Same. beyond the South Pole and that he predicts that in the future there would be global conflict to acquire these resources. Okay. Oil, you name it, whatever it is. So he said this, and have we gone to the South Pole and fought for the resources? We have oh. not. And now I'm not done. We haven't gone to the South Pole, and there's a treaty that says no one can own the South Pole. Okay. Why is there a treaty that says no one can well, own the South Pole? Real quick. If, no, okay. No, no, I'm not done. Okay. America, where, you know the joke about America? If there's oil, America will be there, right? right, right. If there's oil, America will find you, and they'll kill you and take your oil. Now, I'm surprised that um, I'm like America, that. after World War II, was the most powerful country on the planet. 
If they wanted that oil, they could have gotten it. Now, why didn't they get the oil? Let me, let me respond. So now you respond. essentially yeah. my response, I do know about Admiral Bird when I was doing research. Yes. To be clear, I'm not going to say this is a lie. He never mentioned the ice wall. The word no, ice he wall, didn't. No, no, no. But no. he went beyond the south. He went but to the south. He never mentioned pole. going beha- ba- beyond an ice wall. That but he went. A, that that's was the fair, interpretation. But he went to the South Pole well, and he clear, found no fertile Twitter. lands. Stop. Stop with that. He's Stop on X, it. not Twitter. Get it right. Phone away, serious. But he did go to the South Pole okay, and well, find fertile lands well, with every well, resource well, imaginable. To respond to that, yeah, I got to go respond. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This guy, just to preface my opinion, really crazy guy. Okay. Um, it was claimed. What he claimed essentially is that he went over, I think, to the South Pole. And I'm going to tell you how he did it, not the interpretation. Mm, okay. He believed that the ground opened up underneath him. I'm just letting you know. I've never heard no, of no, that. No. I've never heard of that, brother. I don't know how you haven't heard Google of Google that and show me right now. I'll, I'll Google it once I finish. Uh, it. You can, you sure show. You can Google it. No, I want to see that. I will I actually, it. if you want. The people want to see it, too. If you want, I will Google this. He believed, this is what he said word for word. Not word for word, paraphrasing. He believed the ground opened up into a huge glimmering city. You don't, I don't, I don't you know. I had never heard of that. Uh, this is from his notebook. You know who found his notebook? Who? His son. Okay. You know when he found his notebook? Where? After he died. It was just in his possessions. Okay, okay. I'm saying so. This is never, he's never talked about it. There's no videos of Admiral Bird. It was just a notebook of an old guy who died. Okay. So found by his son. Okay. And he claimed the ground opened up from underneath him. There was a huge glimmering city. Okay. He was, and then they took him. I, I don't know if he said what type of transportation. He, they took him to the guy named The Master. You heard about that one or not? The Master. The word master. for word. This is what he said. Okay, he said the keep master. going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said they took him to the master. Okay. And the master said he was disappointed in the humans because of the world wars. Mm-hmm. He said, I'm disappointed in the humans. And he sent him back. He never mentioned an ice wall. And mm-hmm. then the guy died. Mm-hmm. And then that was it. So we can okay. either believe this really crazy guy. Okay, that's not, that's not fair. That's not fair. Crazy. That's a fallacious it's a very argument. Crazy. Matan, Matan, you know I that's really, a fa- that's a fallacy. You, you can't. Okay, so you so you're saying that he's crazy. On both of our behalf, Google it, okay? You will Google it, and okay. it's yeah, B. I believe it's B I R D B Y R D. Whatever. You can. The ground opened up. That's the that's the first one. Never heard of that one. What's happening with your thing? It's not a bomb, is it? Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. I don't, we could probably just cut this out if you want, but this yeah. is, this is from the history, 12.6 million on the YouTube. Well, let me see this. What's the title? Let me see the title. Ancient Aliens, Crystal City Discovered Under Antarctica. Okay, we can't watch I, the whole thing. Just turn it off. Okay, just but turn you know I didn't make it up now, to be clear. I didn't watch it, and I don't feel like watching it. No, I'll, no, I will I'm watch it on like, my own time. I'll watch it on enough, my own but time. But I'm saying, you know I didn't make it up on the top of my head, the glimmering Crystal City. Yeah, but... No. I've never heard it attributed. I've never heard it attributed to Joseph Bird. I've never. Okay, never well, heard I don't that. know what research you're doing. I'm telling you from my completely unbiased. I watch the Flatter Dave. I watch the History Channel. I read the Admiral Bird. I read well, it. History Channel's fucking full of shit. I, yeah, for, yeah. Okay, but that's besides the point. I'm just saying I took every perspective in. This is like Fair, an under, you know what? This I is agree. You're right. Thing. You're he correct. did go to the glimmering city and meet with the master. It was like an alien guy disappointed with the humans. So there were, I, there were, I never even read that somebody thought it was owned by the Rothschilds. I think that's more of a... That's a theory. That's like, a theory. It's like a, a small segment. A more people believe it was like aliens. That's why it was in the title. Uh, I've never heard of that theory. Not, not a lot of flat earthers believe that it's aliens. Well, that's that's, that's a bit of a straw man, alien to be honest. Aliens. You don't believe in aliens? I don't believe in aliens either. Fake, Fake liars, globe head demons, right? Liars. Hey, so that doesn't really... That's not really an arguing, argument well, against the point. You're just saying that he's argument. crazy. You're, you're making up a story and you're saying he's crazy. But Why this did make up any story? From his words that I read, he said that... Where did you read this? Oh, well, I actually, it was a video. I listened to it. And, and who made the video? Crazy no one guy, made... The, nobody made the video. It was black and white footage directly from him. But Oh, it was him talking? I believe it was him talking. It's either him talking or... Okay. I, I haven't seen it in so Fair long. Uh, I'm going to just Whatever, give you a let's move on. I didn't, no, no, I'll just give you a But the point is, it's an, Why exactly, it's an interesting... It's just interesting to me. Why just exactly would you trust the Admiral Bird over... Every single person in the world with an IQ over five. IQ <laughs> over five. Okay, so I'm not saying Including that they are, they could be telling the truth, and but they don't know no. they're they're telling someone else's lies possibly. But I mean, he has Who's he, he really lies? has no reason to lie. No one ever talks about it, but he has no reason well, to lie. Schizophrenic has no reason to lie, but they still gonna they're not lying. They're just really crazy. No. Well, I mean, just oh, yeah, calling people crazy that's people. that's uh, gaslighting. It's not really. Uh, it's not really an well, argument. You know, crazy is like a real term to associate to people. 
Yeah, I suppose so, but yeah, it's not. It's not, it's not a sufficient argument to okay. say he, Admiral oh, Byrd is not crazy. Admiral Byrd is a he's crazy a totally normal monster. guy. He's a crazy manic monster. Uh, okay, all right. He is not honest. He's a. He went to <laughs> Even Joseph Smith figured it out. Well, so far oh, yeah. you lied about the 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 sun. You couldn't reproduce that story. The Indians having a colony on on the moon. That's a lie. You don't know who Felix Shelberg is, even though if you're a YouTuber. I think you're just full of shit, brother. I think you're just full of shit. You know, you you just you know him. Who's this? He said it's a YouTuber. I'm talking about the flag. Well, the point guy. is, the point is, I don't, I don't know. I don't really believe a lot of what you're saying. Okay, so what do you believe? You think that I'm wrong, or you think I'm making it up? I mean, you you're think, making it up. It's obviously, it it's a, a show. Source. This is all a show, and we're, we're we got a uh, my so, so-called partner time. over here. No, we're having a good time, Monke. Yeah, we're having a. <laughs> Yeah, either way. Um, you know, let's be honest. The Earth sucks right now. Our America sucks. Everything is going Too to shit. Too many liberals. Well, possibly, yes. Whatever. Oh. It sucks. And uh, if there was another place we could go to get away from here, I think that a lot of us would want to go there. The ice wall. Yeah, beyond the ice wall. Let's just assume the, Admiral Byrd was telling the truth that there are... Well, he never mentioned the ice wall. But, that is, but he mentioned... That there were fertile lands beyond, he also beyond the South that he Pole. Met, he also beyond that he the met South an, Pole. He also mentioned that he met an alien in the master. I don't care about that. That's full. That's bullshit. So, what do you mean it's bullshit? But, he, but what, he, what he did, you did not show me anything. You Let's be it? honest. You, so now you want to you, you want to use YouTube when I'm it's up to your I'm, benefit. You're being a hypocrite. You're I'm being not, a hypocrite. But I'm not doing it. I'm asking you if that, you want to watch it. I'll watch it later. Uh, I think you put up some stupid controlled opposition bullshit. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't, so you I don't, think I don't you're making stuff up about the? Uh, I think that you're Bird. making stuff up. But the point is, Robert Byrd did say this is on record saying it. It's historically true it's that there crazy. there are lands beyond the South Pole. Now, okay. I'm not going to say ice wall because that's a technicality well, and no you, one cares. What do you believe so, is beyond the South Pole? Well, he's, I'm going by what he said, his own personal accounts with his—it well, his, 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 was an expedition. It was a scientific expedition, and, he's, and he showed fertile lands why, with every why resource is, why known to man. Why do you trust this guy so much to not just be a schizophrenic crazy maniac? Well, I mean, you could say that about anybody, obviously. You could say everybody in NASA is crazy. No, you wouldn't. You could. They're all crazy. You're crazy. Look at your hair. Okay, your hair is crazy. No, no, fair. But I don't believe any of you say your hair is crazy. No, no, but that's fair. Okay, yeah. But let me respond to that. Sure. Every you, well, actually, you you've been saying everything I said isn't truth. To no, Mr. not everything. I think that there's some truth to it, but yeah. All right. Well, anyways, why exactly? You know, if I could probably go right now to the mental hospital, probably a block away. I think there's a, a hospital for like Down syndrome <sighs> people. You could probably find one of those guys had a hard life, turned him schizophrenic. You're gonna go to go talk to that guy. Like, oh, the aliens are real. I went to Mars. You know, when you talk to like a little kid, I was talking to a little kid the other day. I was just at a preschool teaching, and he actually mentioned to me he, he had been himself uh, out of this galaxy. He went to a mm. different galaxy and he met uh, a Thor. You know, Thor? Mm, yeah. Is that something I should take seriously? What? Is the, what? What he says? Yeah. Should I believe that? Well, have you proven that Admiral Bird is crazy? Should I? Is the little, how can you prove the, the I see kid? what you're doing, but you haven't proved that Admiral Bird is crazy. Is you've you've, said a, is you've told me a story that you kid, haven't backed up with any actual is the little facts. Kid, is the little kid crazy? I don't know. I don't know the kid. He might be crazy. I don't know. Okay, so maybe he's telling the truth. I don't know. Maybe he is telling the truth. In okay. his own mind, maybe NASA, the people working for NASA think they're doing the truth. But no, 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 maybe no. they're doing someone else's lies. That's Who knows? Fallacy. Anyways, the final question I want to ask you is, I'm sure you'd agree that, you know, like an animal, like a dog, like a cat, like a bird, have a different brain chemistry than a human, right? Sure. Can survive different things. A fish can survive in the water, doesn't eat air, correct? Are we going into evolution now? No, 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 no evolution. Okay. But you'd agree, like a fish can, doesn't, it like, needs the water, but not the air. Human needs the air, but not the yeah, water. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So explain to me how you believe the air and all the gravity is fake. When currently on Mars, there is no human to step foot because of their problems. They haven't figured it out yet. But there are multiple shepherds who are there right now with the colony set up by the uh, drop pods from the spaceships. There's They're living there, there right now. There's people. There's, and now there's Indians on Mars. No, 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 not Indians. Shepherds. Shepherds. Like a dog. There are right now. German need, shepherds. No, not German shepherds. Just like, like a, a dog. dog. There are yeah. dogs on Mars. Because they don't need the air, so they're able to survive over there. Dogs don't need air. No. So like if you go and choke a dog, it'll it won't well, die. You're restraining his uh, 
his neck. But if he doesn't get air, you could choke a dog and he wouldn't die. Well, right? I, that's definitely not how uh, air works. Is that not how it works? But if he doesn't need air, works. then he wouldn't need. Well, to... it's because of the lungs. You know, dog has four lungs. Humans have two. Dogs have four lungs, and humans have two. <sighs> Maybe, does human have one or two? Do you have pictures of the uh, the the shepherds on Mars? Why would I have pictures of that? Well, you're making a claim. I need evidence. Well, as I, well, what do you mean? Okay. Evidence of dogs if on Mars. If you're asking me to look it up, I'll look it Go up. Go ahead, look it up. I, got, I don't care. It's your show. You can do whatever you want. That's funny. You believe that they're, you, you, Mike, you think there are dogs living on Mars? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? Let me see. I'm just searching for it. Okay. I'm going to get it. It's in my camera roll. Okay. It's in your camera roll. Oh, you must have screenshot it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Let me see that. Let me see on that shit. Oh, my. Well, I mean, it looks like I have been. That's it. That's the debate. You win. I guess that's it. I'm the champion. You're the champion. All right. I think that's probably it, huh? We should head out. Show the camera that dog. Show the camera the dog. Yeah, we, the, the people have to see this groundbreaking wait, wait, discovery. Which camera is it? This one? Let me bring this off. No, no, it's fine. Or just edit in and after, yeah. Show the people that, that fucking husky. It's not even a shepherd. It's a fucking husky. Okay. We're not even getting the dog breeds right. Beautiful. I guess, yeah. Dog on Mars. Dog on, dog on Mars. I see what you did there. Dog on Mars. Okay. Is that pretty much it? Yeah. All right, well, listen, I think it was good talking to you. Yeah, it was fun. I think just fact check a lot of the stuff I said you're going to see. I'll fact check it. I mean, I fact checked right. a lot of the claims and they, I didn't find anything. You got to look deeper. I didn't find the Sadly, dogs either. You know, the moderator didn't do a very good job today. The rabbi, I'm not going to be inviting him back. He's busy the being the main villain in a fictional TV show.